Ray Phoenix here. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles. So now this is that abysmal Coruscant level I was talking about in the other video. Look at that. So many different alien thugs, alien gangsters, people that probably commit scams or commit like armed robberies and, and battles and action where that involves stealing things from people or ripping people off. We're all coming after you. It's an all out war. It's just one Jedi versus a whole war of crime people. So you have to jump on this yellow submarine that's flying through the sky. And I have to wait for it to get to the platform. As you can see there, there's a platform nine and three quarters or whatever it is. Then I have to jump over there and oh, look at that. Or the, the, what's funny is those Rodians don't have any or any weapons on them. They just use their fists, and by God, they're so powerful. Their fists, they can uppercut you and throw you off the entire level, pretty much. They're that strong. I didn't know Rodians were that strong. If they were that strong, Han Solo wouldn't have been. It makes sense why Han Solo would have shot first, then. If they really were that strong, you know, he shot Greedo first. You all know that Han Solo shot Greedo first, right? So before that, Mace Windu killed a bunch of them off on Coruscant, because, you know, they were, you know, being bad guys, pretty much. I start to notice more flaws about the game in this level, like it's poor programming, a poor level design. Another flaw you also start to notice in this game is you have to commit to your attacks. You can't just, you know, do an attack and cancel it when you don't want to do it. No, if you do attack, you have to commit to the whole thing. You can't just cancel an attack, like, just like that. And those guys, those guys with the sniper rifle, it's funny, they have sniper rifles, but the accuracy is just as good as the stormtrooper blasters, which, you know, isn't really that accurate. So it kind of feeds the purpose of having a sniper rifle, it's not going to be that accurate. So see, you have a lot of bad guys, they're all heading for Mace Windu, they all have something against Mace Windu. See, so just picked up a checkpoint there, jump on the yellow submarine, oh look, a lot of them got here, just can use my signature force move. Look at that, it's removed a lot of them from the yellow submarine like that. So look at that. See, look, he's shooting at me. He's clearly shooting at me. Look, he keeps missing. He's using a sniper rifle and he's missing. How can you miss and use a sniper rifle? Is that guy blind or something like that? You know, like, you know, like is he like blind or something like that? Like, why would he keep missing me? Or maybe, yeah, maybe he's not even wearing a mask like the stormtroopers. God, these guys have such bad shots and they always make fun of stormtroopers. But it's not really their fault because stormtroopers wear those helmets that block most of their vision. And they also are armed with blasters that have bad accuracy. Rapid fire blasters in Star Wars typically have bad accuracy. Unless it's a light repeater, then that because light repeaters tend to have, you know, much better accuracy, so, so I guess that makes sense. But I don't think it's a light repeater. I don't think they have any light repeaters in this game. They actually did in the Phantom Menace video game, the other one, the one that was more like a Zelda game or an RPG. And the other one, and the other, the other games I see this weapon in, I also see it in the Star Wars Dark Forces Jedi Knight games. I might do LPs of those, if that's your play for some of those, but I don't really have any of those. I actually have the demo for Mysteries of the Sith. I did a video of that over two years ago, and I want to do some, make some videos on the demo of Star Wars Jedi Knight, but that doesn't work on Windows 10. I don't know how to I wasn't able to get to run any of my virtual machines. I'm going to have to use my Windows XP computer to play out. This is, again, this is why I keep a Windows XP computer around with me. And, and also, there's Star Wars Dark Forces. I could get for the first level of Dark Forces, but I can't figure out how to get for any of the other levels in that game. I actually have the DOS version, but I can't save my progress in that version at all for some reason. So I might have to use a PS1 version. It might be easier to get the PS1 version of Star Wars Dark Forces, which I think I could find an ISO of that. So I actually had an ISO image of that somewhere, but it didn't work very well. So my dad installed it, and all the ISOs my dad seemed to get off of whatever website didn't seem to work very well. Sure, he got me my, my ISO of uh, uh, Ridge Racer Revolution, which made a video of that a few weeks ago, but the music didn't seem to turn out because the music is saved separately on the disc, meaning that if I actually own a natural copy of that disc, I could I could take that disc and put it into a CD player or a computer and you could, you know, play the music from the game. Because some PS1 games have that feature, some PS1 and PC games have CD playback feature support, the CD playback. I don't think this game does. A lot of PS1 games don't have this feature. I wish all of them could, because then getting the soundtracks to games would be a lot easier. But no, they do that on purpose, it's just inconvenient stuff. <laughs> So you see there's those probe droids which are being used as, you know, attack droids, kind of like in Rogue Squadron, the Star Wars Rogue Squadron game. There's some other games I've played based on the original trilogy where the Empire uses their probe droids as assault droids. They seem to think probe droids and assault droids are the same thing. But you could put up quite a fight, but quite a fight in Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. What gave me the idea to do that Empire, the Super Star Wars Empire Strikes Back video I made a year ago on the SNES was because that night when I watched Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play of the game and he actually encouraged me to get back and see Super Star Wars. I never liked Super Star Wars that much as a kid. I thought those games are overrated. I still think they're kind of overrated. They're not that good. But if you use save states, so maybe play easy considering the fact that, you know, it's just how the games are. The games are just that, you know, insane then. Yeah, I guess you could, uh, you know, 
I guess you could, you know, you know, get through the games quite well. That's what I did, and I use save states, I'll admit, I'm a cheater, I use save states, but considering how abysmal the game is, I guess it makes sense. I use save states a lot for this game too, I didn't use any save states for this let's play, but in the past when I play this game a lot, yeah, I'll admit, I did have used save states, but, like, so you're not gonna see any of this let's play, because I didn't use any of this let's play. This is here's more of the sniper rifle guys, which, you know, get killed off easy. And, 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 or maybe Mace Windu's bad at deflecting a shot, I don't know, but I doubt it. Mace Windu's an awesome Jedi, he's, he's been really good at deflecting shots up to this point, with his signature blue lightsaber. And so those guys are, sometimes these guys jump over the thing, but no, they're not be doing that right now. And a lot of these, those probe droids come out at you and they throw you off by shooting at you and you're in the middle of a jump and it ruins your jump. So that's why I recommend you standing around here and just deflecting the shots around. To deflect the shots properly, you have to do a perfect, um, you know, accuracy. As soon as it hits your lightsaber, you have to, you know, it's all about timing. The Dreamcast version has a lot of training levels about this, but this is the PlayStation version, so there aren't really any training levels. So you see I'm gonna fly off those Rodians again there too, those Rodians, those, those guys probably are the worst enemies in this game, they're probably even worse than those sand people that we saw in Tatooine. This is the part where I get shot at a lot, this is just luck, yeah I survived that by sheer luck, and the one, the, these types of probe droids you're seeing now are a lot stronger than the other types of probe droids you've come across, and sometimes they accidentally shoot each other, if you're lucky they might shoot each other by accident and then you get off good. Coruscant's supposed to be the capital of the Republic, a beautiful city, kind of like the city that I live in, speaking of city that I live in. I was gonna make a vi I was gonna make a video next summer where I do some vlog videos. I'm not sure you guys like my vlog videos. I don't know. I doubt any of you are gonna answer, but yeah, whether you like it or not, I'm making more vlog videos. And I was gonna go to to, to tour my city. I was gonna walk around downtown my city. I was gonna film stuff around downtown, walk through the beautiful streets and things like that. It actually is a pretty nice city. I kind of did a little bit of that in my documentary film I made last summer, but I didn't go to the city at all. I was, well, I was in the city, but it was like on the outskirts where it's all lush and green. There's a there's a lush and green place nearby me. I I was gonna do a, make a video where I walk around there and walk around the town nearby. I was gonna do that next summer and I was gonna put that on YouTube so all you guys can see. I was gonna watch it pretty soon, I was gonna make a video. I'm gonna track down the streets of my town, some, some other streets of town I didn't show before. And it's Christmas time, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna show like Christmas lights and festive holiday tradi and holiday tradition lights. People still like to decorate their, their houses even in these unpleasant times. Then again, there's always some sort of unpleasant time somewhere. Look at that, how did I survive that? I just fell from a great height, and look at that, I survived. That's a miracle. I must have used black magic, witchcraft, or sorcery. And you know what happened to Harry Potter and all his friends? They all died and went to hell for practicing witchcraft. That's, a, that's how Ned Flanders would have wanted Harry Potter to end. But thankfully, that's not what the fans wanted, so that's not what the fans got. I heard that Harry Potter was considered being killed in the last part of a, in the last, uh, in the last book, the last Harry Potter book. This part's abysmal too, it's those fan things that keep blowing the bad guys off here, the fan thing blew that Rodian off. I have to constantly use these force powers because they, they could block your attacks. Yeah, because those guys are so strong, they could block the blade of a lightsaber with their arms. I never heard of someone that was that powerful to block a lightsaber blade. But again, it's kind of ironic because in, in the Revenge of the Sith video game on the Game Boy Advance, Mace Windu punches a lightsaber beam with his arm. His arm is still fine. I didn't know, I didn't really think it was possible to punch a lightsaber beam. If lightsabers really were like that in the movies, people wouldn't be getting their hands cut off at all. Luke never would have got his hand cut off and lost his father's lightsaber, and Anakin never would have got his hand cut off either in Attack of the Clone, so, you know. There is some, like, inconsistencies here with the lightsaber. Lightsabers, unless they have, like, settings on them, you know, like, like, make it, like, set for stun kind of thing. But I doubt that. I don't think lightsabers have settings. I know they have, like, beam adjust settings where you can adjust the beam, the length of the beam. Some lightsabers have that, but I don't think any of these lightsabers really have any of that. Unless you get a longer Schwartz or something like that. You know, Schwartz is as big as, you know, I keep using that joke too much. Like, I don't know why I keep using that joke. I kept joking about, you know, like, space balls, the Schwartz unleashed. You know, I've been talking about making more videos, games of space balls, or making more movies of space balls. I think they should make more space balls of expanded universe. There's so much expanded universe of Star Wars, but there isn't any expanded universe of space balls or hardware wars. So I think they should, you know, make more space balls or hardware wars expanded universe. Just picked up a new credit there. They're called live credits in this game for some reason. I don't know why we got so far in this game without me mentioning that. So see, yeah, right now I'm being bum-rushed by a bunch of these alien things. 
They always like to bum rush you when you're out in the middle of the, in the city, so I have to use my force powers and destroy them all. I'll try to kill as few as possible, you know, being more of a peacemaker kind of character, but yeah, they, they don't really they don't really like peace. There is no peace on course. Coruscant always was like a scummy planet. In fact, the premise of George Lucas' Star Wars TV show is about the Coruscant Underworld. It's called Star Wars Underworld or something like that. It's all about the Coruscant Underworld, and two seasons worth of scripts were written for this show, but this show never got made. I think George Lucas had, you know, too many, uh, you know... You know, like, he, like, George Lucas has worked in the film industry a lot, but he hasn't really done much work in the TV industry as much. I think Mandalorian was a better premise for a Star Wars show, so that's why that one got made. And the Star Wars Underworld show is not going to probably ever get made, but the scripts I heard are still on, on the internet somewhere. You might be able to find those. You see here, being like Spider-Man, where we're jumping around the rooftops, I'm fighting off these probe droids, these evil Imperial probe droids. No, they're not purely Imperials that exist yet. They're probably Darth Maul's in that. That's the first segment of this level is over. It's Ray Phoenix, signing out.